What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It's 50 cents a day. Um, today, we're going to be looking at a quick tutorial on how to install some of these free premium macros that I'm uh, programming and sharing with you guys. If you have the um, Show and Finder macro, um, what you want to do is download it to your desktop. Go ahead and find that uh, .zip file, double click it or unarchive it, however you do it. Um, this works for Mac and Windows um, and just and just have it open and ready to go. Um, leave yourself a little bit of room in your um, in your desktop so that you can see that folder. Now what I want you to do is head over to your toolbar inside Studio One and you want to click on the um, on the Mac on the macro toolbar, right? And if you look to your left, you'll see this gear icon. Um, if you click on that, that will open up your macro organizer, right? Now at the bottom, you'll see this hyperlink that says show macros in folder or finder explorer, right? So we'll click that. And these are all of the macros <clears throat> that you've either created or that Studio One has uh, added, right? So now you just click and drag this guy over and copy to the folder. I already have this in this folder, so we're gonna stop right there. Um, now, in order to get this one button solution, it's really simple. All you need to do is open up your preferences. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that. If you don't have a key command set for it, you just go to Studio One and then go to Preferences. You wanna go to General and then hit Keyboard Shortcuts, right? Now, the great thing about keyboard shortcuts in Studio One is that you can search them. So all I have to do is click on show, uh, type in show in Finder, right? And um, you just, I have, you know, I have two key commands set. You just, you just go here and to set the key command, you just hold down the keys that you want it to be. So in this case, I want it to be command F and um, if, if we remove that key command and then add a new one, if this conflicts with another key command, it'll warn you and then you can pick, you know, you can choose to rearrange it or whatever, but make this something that you remember that works for your workflow. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Now, if I go to an audio track, which I would like to find the original version of the sample, I just hold command F and you will see that I get the I get the actual sound file right here and then this makes it easy to um, you know work with work with Serato sample and now I can just drag and drop real quick right makes the makes it so fast so this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions thank you guys for downloading this macro and if you guys have any suggestions for some workflows or macros you'd like to see in the future feel free to hit me up I'm having a lot of fun programming these keep it simple but don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one